Thank you very much, Trevor, for your beautiful rendition. Um, a favorite one for many of us, I'm sure. You have, a, you have been blessed with a great talent. Keep up the good work. Thank you again. And now, the moment we've been waiting for, as the author comes to make his remarks. We welcome Father St. Rose to the podium. With protocol already established, I will proceed. <clears throat> I'm not very good about speaking. I'm not very good speaking about myself. But I just would like to start off by saying that Off the Ship is a, is a collaborative effort of many minds working together to achieve a particular thesis. Sadly, though, the accolades are lavished upon only one person, the one whose name is imprinted on the final product. Without the help of Lloyd DeVoe and Louvet and Everestus and in some way Najla, I certainly would not have been able to put this together a second time. Also, with the help of Gordon Jabatis, I hope he's here this afternoon, is he? The artist who painted that piece of drawing that you have on the cover of the books. I sat with him just for one hour and gave him an insight as to what I am looking for. And up came this beautiful piece of mural that I can't detach myself from. And it's a beautiful depiction of the ship of state and the old bark of Christ. You will all agree with me at this point in time that the universe, as well as the church, is experience, experiencing some very deep, turbulent times. Sadly, though, the leadership of the church, the leadership of the, of, the, of, of the various institutions have apparently abundant ship. And if you notice, the people are on the ground wailing, looking for help, and neither of them are on that boat, guiding it safely into shore to deliver the people what is required. And so, I would like to thank them immensely. And also Mr. Paul Crone, I hope he's also here. No, they seem to have all absconded today. <laughs> We'd like to thank him for really putting this beautiful cover together. I would like to also mention Mr. Frederick DeVoe and Jem St. Rose, who have contributed significantly towards the realization of today's project. And I'll ask God to bless them abundantly for this. And I cannot without saying, I can't end this without saying a very special thank you to Mr. Sion, who's ever so ready to accept us and to host us for any launching. Thank you so much. I'm not doing the um, the vote of thanks, persons, the role for them. I just would like to identify just a few persons briefly. This, the person who will be delivering the vote of thanks will thank everyone elaborately. And to Mr. Lucien, I would have been quite surprised if you had agreed with everything that I'd said in that book. I am no way a genius, and I'm glad that you proved that to me. Thank you for this beautiful and in-depth expose. I will carry it with me and cherish it. 
and see that it is put up as a proper profile. Thank you. Let me also introduce you to two pieces of work that I completed, much to the horror of my doctors. This was supposed to be released for in time for the Lenten season this year. I'm not sure who's playing a trick on me, because conveniently, every year at Easter, I become a host, a guest at Tapion. And this year was one of the worst experiences that I've had. And I know how much tears the Church of St. Lucia shared for me during that time. I know how much you prayed for me. And this is the first time I'm getting an opportunity to thank you publicly. Thanks for your prayers. Doctors were afraid to touch me. No one wanted to deal with my situation because it was a touch and go. But I think as I sat back on my bed, I think God was asking me to join him in his passion and share with him his redemptive love for his people. So this did not find itself released in time for Holy Week. And also the copies did not arrive in St. Lucia as well. So, there we have a book that has been put out specifically for the Holy Week season. And this could be available anytime that you would like to have it. Also, each year, the Archdiocese puts out an auto. And a number of them have to be put up into storage. And money is being paid for that. Now, it's a lot of hard work to put this out every year for the last how many years, Your Grace? Yeah, so the last six years I have been producing this. In the absence of a missile, since the missile had been renewed, this is meant to guide us through the liturgy throughout the liturgical year. And it's available at a very simple, very low price of $35. And this year it features His Eminence, Cardinal Felix, and the reception of his, what's this again? His papal bull at the consistory. So please buy yourself one at the chancery and help us get rid of the bulk of it. It will guide you and help you. And also there are instructions in there to guide us through the liturgy as well. So thank you if you do. Without further ado, I think I would like to end here that I wouldn't exhaust myself. Mr. Mr. Lucien has done an exceptionally good job and I'm not going to water it down. Thank you. Father St. Rose is going to make a presentation of some complimentary copies in turbulent waters. We would like to call Mr. Fred DeVoe, Frederick DeVoe. Um, Father, we'd like to commend you for your profound work that you have helped him with, his work, um, and appreciation for you. He would like to present you with this book. Fred is Fred here. <laughs> to Miss Rosemary Cooper, thank you for your kind support over the years. and your eagerness to assist at any time. Mr. Sion, thank you for your kind cooperation and support over the years.
and to Trevon St. Omer in appreciation of your musical skills and your contribution to the launching of In Turbulent Waters. Christmas is round the corner. <laughs> and what a beautiful time to have the launching. And not only that, Mr. DeVore has helped in many ways, but he's been a very, very good inspiration as always. Father, what are you writing next? Father, what are you doing tomorrow? He keeps pushing me and pushing me as much as possible. And I really appreciate it very much. And also, to give me as much marketing skills as possible. Because books do not market themselves. We've got to market them. So we have a lot to appreciate him for. But that's not the end, and I hope at least, I'm praying, God, that I'm not going to be host at Tapio anymore. But this time next year, or even earlier, that we will have the launching of Our Father, Prayer and Praxis, an anthology of the Lord's Prayer, a relationship between prayer, spirituality, and social justice. Thank you. Thank you, Father, very much. Well, since we're on the topic of books, I know many people have already asked and have not been given the answer so this is the soft covered book and it is $35 and this is the hard covered book and it is $60 so for those of you who would wish to buy one or more um, they are available today but they would be also available here um, at the Chancellery Office. I now call on Cora Muris Alfred, who is going to give the vote of thanks. With protocol established, I wish to proceed. On behalf of Father Lambert St. Rose and his family, we wish to express most heartfelt thanks to all honored guests, well wishers and friends who have joined us here today for the humble launching of In Turbulent Waters, authored by Father St. Rose. As Father has so rightly said, authorship is a collaborative effort of putting many minds together to achieve a particular thesis. Sadly though, the accolades are lavished upon one person the one whose name is written on the final product. In this respect, Father St. Rose would like to share the limelight with Mrs. Lagiola DeVoe, his editor, Mrs. Louvet Louisi, Everista Jamari and Brother Delelis, his critiques, his artist, Mr. Gordon Jabatiste. For such an elaborate piece of art, which serves at the front cover of the book. Mr. Paul Crone, the cover and graphic designer, and the many others who have asked to remain anonymous, thanks a million for your invaluable contribution. Special thanks to our esteemed guest speaker, Mr. Vadimi Lucien, to a dear friend and a true supporter of the arts, who is always curious as to Father's next project, Mr. Frederick DeVoe. Thanks for your help, your inspiration, and contribution. Together with Gem St. Rose, without your financial assistance, today's gathering would have been an impossible dream. To His Grace, the Archbishop Robert Rivas, thanks for being here and for your spiritual and prayerful support. The same is extended to the Chancery staff. Monsignor Patrick Anthony, who is known as a real promoter of Father's work at every given opportunity, 
he says a most sincere and heartfelt thanks to you. To the principal, Mr. Rowan Sion, and the staff of the St. Mary's College, heartfelt thanks and appreciation for the use of the auditorium once again. To our saxophonist, Mr. Trevon St. Omer, your music has added vitality to the afternoon's proceedings. To the members of the media, CTBS, HDS, Choice TV, The Voice of St. Lucia, The Mirror Newspaper, St. Lucia News Online. Thanks for your coverage 